I only started writing this tome as a pastime. But in order to give it a clear perspective, I must reveal my identity. I was once one of the guardians of the Spirit Sword. The precepts of the guardians were very strict, one of which stated no guardian may ever touch Soul Calibur. But in my younger days, I failed to properly suppress my urges. When the others discovered my designs, they broke my arms and banished me. Amid my despair, I searched for a way to survive. What I discovered was the art of reincarnation. After a long period of training, I mastered the secrets contained within this lost wisdom. I reincarnated myself over and over again, and became an entity that could transcend generations. At first, I didn't realize the price I would have to pay for eternal life. For every time I reincarnated, I experienced the pain of death. It felt like my soul was being crushed. It is hard to put such pain and suffering in words. Indeed, I hadn't managed to completely escape death. No matter what one may accomplish in life, Death remains inescapable. My bodies have lain in countless graves, but my soul will never rest in peace. So it was that I came to yearn for the final eternal death I could never have. And such desire began to corrupt my everlasting life. Gradually, I began to seek out death itself. That was a thousand years ago. My desire for death was at its peak. That longing for true death led me to even take hold of Soul Edge. Wisdom, power, battle lust. In those days, I felt I could do anything. But when it was over, I was forced to confront just how prideful I had been. As a puppet of the Cursed Sword, I kept fighting to my last breath. And for what? I fought in an age of endless war that spanned the world, all to establish a certain dynasty. That is all I'll say on the matter. I've lived as every type of person. Old, young, man, woman. But I've never felt as much joy as when I wielded that power. However, not even the Cursed Sword could free me from the chains of Samsara. And so I died, and was born again into this world. Witchers are known as warriors with unusual powers, the slayers of monsters and fiends, and eliminators of other forms of devilry. One day, the elite witcher Geralt took on another contract, his task to subdue a sorceress. The now-aged woman, though ever strange, had been greatly respected, yet in recent years, rumors had spread that she was dabbling in the dark arts. She had achieved prominence as a researcher of planes, but if she were to call forth a demon from another dimension, it could have grave consequences. 
Accordingly, she was a threat to be assessed and, if found guilty of iniquity, a threat to be contained. In search of the truth and prepared to mete out punishment as necessary, Geralt made his way to the ruins of a citadel standing amidst marshlands. So, that's why I'm here. To check if these suspicions, accusations even, are true. See these demons you've summoned, and if you have, to stop you, punish you. That's the contract. Tell me, Witcher. Do you know what I've studied all these years? The magic? The skill? Planes. Passages between them. Heard you're an expert. Pretty tricky for someone working on their own, gotta admit. And you? Do you also label me a heretic? No. Don't get me wrong. Got no reason to suspect you of anything. Yet. Just wanna talk. My greatest wish was to access a different plane. Right. Got that much, I think. But that is not to say I ever wish to commune with, let alone summon demons and spirits from other worlds. Through rifts into other dimensions, I explored the possibilities, sought another plane. I was but a fisherman casting a line. And then it happened. What happened? A response. A strong one from something powerful in a place altogether elsewhere. Bold you are, Witcher, even to venture here. If you wish to see if my studies deal with demons, why, have yourself a gander! Uh, what is this? Uh, heads pounding. Where the hell am I? Some sort of passageway between planes? What's at its end? Another dimension? Whatever it is, sure doesn't sound pleasant. Huh. Don't try me. Really not in the mood. Beast that. Good to know my silver sword works, though. Medallion won't be much use. Got too much to sense here. exist. How about that? Kaer Morin. Sure brings back memories. No way this is real, though. Some sort of magic. Gotta be. Huh. Exactly like I remember. You appear to be from a foreign land. Or am I mistaken? Something strange about you. Let me guess. Sorcerer? Some may call me that. 
However, I have mastered the use of weapons. <sighs> Place seems full of people just looking for trouble. Interesting. Now I see what power you hold. It appears my plans will have to change a bit. To think it would be possible to travel between worlds. Fascinating. Someone sent me here. I'll be sure to tell her how you feel. Long as I actually make it back to my own world, that is. Forgive my discourtesy. Pleasant journey, stranger. Every which way you turn here, you get a skilled warrior, including that last one. Could get in some good practice. No, got things to tend to. Pressing matters. Sorcerer preparing potions will be a pain. There you are! You again? Get teleported here against your will? Believe me. Yeah! <laughs> 
Teleported all this way, and I'm still killing monsters. No rest for a witcher. Won't do me any good, though, hunting beasts out here. Just not supposed to be here, plain and simple. Gotta get back to my own world. Seem to be places of power in this world, too. Marshes, mountain-bound vales. Source of the power could actually be in another plane. Speculation of that sort's best left to mages, though. Gates appear where enough of the power accumulates. Know that much. But whenever I get too close, Gate spawns more of those creatures, then shuts again. Need to keep it open somehow. Should probably find someone skilled in magic. Well, this is just great.
didn't notice. We don't exactly get along. Uh, freaks around here really seem to love me. I will kill you! Yada yada, let's get to it. Show you how a witcher does things. That's how I ended up here. Listen, there's a gate around here that connects to other worlds? As you know, the gate to astral chaos sometimes opens unexpectedly. But to open a gate to another realm, you would need to utilize the power of the sword locked deep within astral chaos. Go on. Simply opening the gate will not be enough. You need a signpost that definitively points the way. It needs to have a strong connection to where you came from. Phantasmal Care Morin. Gotta be it. If you open the gate at the right place and at the right time... All sounds good. Except, well, I'm a stranger here. Sure you're allowed to reveal such secrets to me? Hmm. I believe I can trust you. One learns a thing or two after years of brutal training to sharpen one's skills to their zenith. Thanks for the help, old man. You should know. It is a perilous way. There is no room for error, and you may even fail through no fault of your own. I know not whether I should encourage such a gamble. Worth a try, far as I'm concerned. Very well. I shall teach you a secret ritual for eliciting the power of the spirit sword, Soul Calibur. Finally meet, Geralt. Like a dog after a bone. Not interested in fighting you, plain as that. You cannot escape me. We settle this now. Fine. Your funeral then. Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> One. Fight! Burn! Quick! 
shall burn. see what a witcher can do. Sorry, gate's about to open. Party ends now. What? But I was just getting into it! Had a worthy opponent in you. No two ways about it. Love to finish our fight, but... well... Witcher duties call. So... You are returning home? Very well. Come back anytime! I'll be waiting! So long, Samurai. It's been... emotional. almost over. Finally. Great. Now just need to get through the damn gate. Let's do this. Um, Sri Vasu Svaha. Ah! <sighs> Am I back? Witcher! As I live and breathe, you have returned. Uh, head feels like it's gonna explode. Mind keeping it down? Forgive me. My methods were a bit harsh. However, at least now you know I am innocent. No? How was the other world? Do tell! Well, it'd take some time. Then step over here and make yourself comfortable. Would you care for some fine wine? Welcome. Nice and all. But as I see it, you owe me a lot more than that. The names of the warriors whose fates were bound to the two swords have been etched into the very fibers of history.